So I have some X10 Parallel Pros here. I'm gonna set these up. I'm gonna get them dialed in with my Supra with another rest and then another sight. My goal is um, to have these ready to go uh, for the shoot off at NFA Internationals here soon, which is like two days away. We, we leave uh, Wednesday, it's Monday today. Um, so I wanna get these dialed in over the next like 36 hours and feeling confident so I can use these in the shoot off, hopefully. Uh, it's going to happen. I'm committed to it. It's going to happen. But I'm uh, going to get these set up. I'm going to show you guys how I build these arrows from uh, scratch. And um, yeah, stay tuned for a cool video. So I'm in Archer's Advantage right now. I'm just going to, I reference this just to make sure I'm in the right ballpark uh, for my arrow build. So I plugged in my bow, the Super X 37, uh, the 420 Spine X10 Parallel Pros, and I plugged in, you know, my, my uh, draw length, um, my uh, draw weight, and then the arrow specifications that I had in mind. So 28 inches and 120 grain points. Saying that I'm a little bit on the weaker side of optimal spine, uh, typically, I try to stay in like this region here, like the stiff side of optimal, if not just a smidge in the, the yellow there. I find typically that's where I have my best results. But I'm going to try it how it is there. Um, I'm going to try 28 inch uh, arrow. Uh, so I found that uh, I just measured these arrows and I want to keep these um, logos intact because normally when I shoot X10s, it's like they're, they're, they're barreled on um, the front end. So there's only so much I can cut off the front end. Um, so I well, actually had to cut most of it from the front end just because of how the X10 is designed. You can't really cut much off the back. If actually they, they say you're not supposed to cut anything off the back for the pro tours, but since these are parallel shafts, I'm going to cut um, four inches off the back just so my uh, labels stay intact, just so they don't go into the target and get uh, rubbed off. It's like a, I don't know, pet peeve of mine. I don't know <laughs> what you want to call it, but it, when the logos come off, it's like, it bothers me. So. Uh, I'm going to cut four inches off the back. So I want to get from 32 and 5 eighths inches to 28 inches. So uh, I'm going to cut uh, four inches off the back. So that gives me, um, what, 20, 28 and 5 eighths? And 5 eighths inches. So, and then I'll cut um, 5 eighths of an inch off the front give me 28 inches total. So I'm gonna cut it four inches off the back and about five eighths of an inch off the front to get the 28 inches total. So we're gonna go ahead and mark up the back of the arrow where I need to cut, it, cut them and then go cut the entire dozen and then I'll cut the front as well, uh, five eighths off the front. So. so I'm gonna line this up on two there, just by eye, then I'm gonna cut out six. So got a mark there. That is so here. That's just to confirm. It's right on uh, four inches there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off four inches from the back of every arrow. with the aluminum arrows, uh, these just have an aluminum core. Um, I have this tool, I don't know where it's at, it's a blue tool and it's for like plumbing. So it basically puts a, um, it cleans off like the burrs inside um, and it like creates like a 45 degree angle on there. Uh, typically I use that as well, um, but I wanna square down the, the ends. I uh, just make sure they're flush before I put the components in.
there more towards the back though okay. that should be enough glue and then just twist it in as you get even coating around it So I kind of ran out of time to get some video of me shooting. I did set the XM Parallel Pros up. I got another rest. Um, nice thing about the rest that I have, it's like quick detach. So I can have multiple rests set up for one bow. And then I also had another sight. So I paper tuned everything, uh, got a bullet hole. Landon can um, confirm that this is true. One shot bullet hole, which is pretty cool, um, which never happens ever but uh, for some reason, everything worked out. Um, so then I, I did make it a little bit, um, a knock high tear, just cause I'm shooting a blade, just wanna get uh, good clearance. I didn't have any um, like foot powder spray laying around. I mean, I could have went to the store, but it was like late at night when I actually got around to setting up the arrows and I let, had to leave in the morning for Louisville. So, um, but they were shooting good. I shot a 60X round, which was awesome. And I made a couple of changes during the round that got me more inside outs, which was great because um, that's all that matters for the shoot off. But I have the X10 here. Trying out these uh, Q2i or Q, Q2i, yeah, Q2i veins. Um, I'm not sponsored by any air, um, vein company, so I can do whatever I want. Also, shout out to my arrow wraps. These uh, white arrow wraps match these white veins pretty well. And, but yeah, so I wanted to explain the purpose of shooting skinny arrows versus shooting the big arrows. And so these are primarily used for outdoor archery. So when there's wind, um, long distances, um, just more accurate because less wind drift. Um, but for the shoot off in, here in Louisville, they, um, they count inside outs. So you can't touch the line. So I have a 20, quarter full of 27s here. Um, these are my 2712. So I'm going to shoot these during the qualifying round because I don't have to shoot inside outs. I just have to hit the X. So these are going to find, uh, catch lines more easily. And yeah, that, that's pretty much why I'm going to use them. And then I'm going to switch over to these if I make the shoot off, which is going to happen. I'm committed to it. That's the mentality that we're going into this weekend. And yeah, so I just want to explain like the differences. So I have two rests, two sights, and can switch over to either arrow pretty quick, which is awesome. And yeah, excited for this weekend. We just made it to Louisville last night. Um, had a, well, yesterday morning, I guess. And, but we had a fun day out on the town and I'm excited to share uh, this weekend with you guys here on YouTube. So, but stay tuned for more content, come soon.